analyze what the nature of culture itself. And how culture, which means at that circumstances, with people with a different educational background, with a different mindset, with a different, which is very much back at time. And they never want to wake up that now we're really in the future where there is an idea of evolution, evolution yeah. where changes have to occur, where development have happened, where society now, where society's mindset have really changed. Therefore, in order to analyze this debate, we can analyze in two levels. Whether cannibalism is justified even when there is a consensus or not. Or, in secondly, whether government is actually justified in order to pass such policy. Now, with considering what cannibal, cannibalism is justified even when they are speaking with consensus, it has come to my concern when they mention that people can do just as long as that is whatever they want. Under their paradigm, that it's just because that they want and according to them it's good, then the government should allow. Without seeing on how, or without looking again, that whether it is actually right or wrong. We have responded that the existence of a government in the first place is there in order for the government to maintain social and order. And there are bridges where, where the government can intervene. And they can intervene when there is, they, they can intervene when, when, the, when the, the, what has been done by the culture has already exceeded its limitation, which is when it degrades something, when it degrades a value. And this is the degradation of human body value, which is what the global community is trying to preserve it. And this is the one that, which this is the one that they, that all the time have been mentioned by the proposition. So the proposal, part of the proposition, it is that if we want, if that culture is not allowed, then religion also is not allowed. But we have said that the religion, even the practice of religion, which goes and harms the value of human body, is even not allowed. Yeah. Because even, the, even though it is come under the, under the stance of religion, or even culture, where it degrades the value of human body, it is not allowed. There are certain attitudes which is acceptable and not acceptable. And the line between what is acceptable, when the value is not acceptable, when there is a degradation of human life, there is a degradation of human value, is what we do not agree here. Even though it is with the consensus, when we say that there is an existence, existence of a societal pressure that might force these people into, into doing this. And what is, let's see the solution coming from the proposition. They say, if you don't like, then just run away. But we as opposition, opposition say, it is best to solve the problem, not to run away whenever there is a problem. That is not what we are standing for. We do not want to run away just because they disagree. We should solve the problem from the core itself. And secondly, on whether government is justified in passing such a policy. The government, under their paradigm, government is to measure, is to is to ensure the integrity. Yes, we do agree, and therefore they should ensure what is best for the society. And here we see that what is best for the society, what is what is best for the majority of the society, and the value of power that they claim to be gained, and the value of regain richness, can be measured under irrational sanity, which we have proven. This is all irrational sanity, which is being mentioned by them. And according to them, it is all right for the government to do so, even though it degrades any human well, even though it degrades the human body value. Because why a government is supposed to allow tolerance? Do whatever they want. No, government has to have control. Though there is a limit to the tolerance that is there. That's what we have been mentioning from the beginning. That even though the existence of tolerance, we have mentioned that there is an evolution which is there. And the government is there to have a control. It is not to allow whatever they want and just have the country run. Then why do we even have a government in the first place? Better don't even have a government and let people live as how they want. But no, there is a limit and there is an ethical, moral guidance which needs to be guided. This is when the country is to be guided on what side was wrong. Because why? If we could be allowing their policy would cause further isolation. We do not want this country, even with their underdeveloped mindset, to remain in the darkness forever. We want a government to ensure a better development, to ensure a better to ensure a better mindset and for people to have more rationality on what's right, what's wrong, and what's needed to be done, what's not needed to be done. And that is what we are fighting for. We are fighting for culture evolution. We are fighting for society development. We don't want such a slippery soul. Because why? If we follow their paradigm, in the future, we would always live in history. We would always be haunted by the culture where honor killing is allowed. We're under the Indian history where the wives are allowed to get born when the husband died. We don't want to be blinded by culture. We want to go with objectivity and rationality. Because that is what the government's duty is there, because to maintain social and order and not to allow any moral, not to allow any moral value that compromises these values itself. And since this is the one that values, if we value human body, we definitely oppose.